Jesse, honey, I'm so happy you came over finally. Sarah will not stop talking about you. Well, I hope it's all good things. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Babe, is everything okay? No, nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong. I'm just checking. Jesse, don't say it. No, don't. Just don't. Do you guys have any low calorie or high protein food? I'm sorry. What's going on everybody? Jesse James West here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I just woke up a little bit before this, so if I'm a little tired, that's because I haven't had my coffee yet. Today, I'm gonna take you through my top five low calorie, high protein meals. I'm gonna give you guys the full recipe. I'm gonna teach you how to make it. I'm gonna give you some taste tests. We're gonna hit a workout later. Let's just say there's a whole lot to do in this vlog. Now with that said, if you guys are new to the channel, I would truly appreciate if you scroll down, hit that subscribe button, and if you're feeling generous, hit that like button. And yes, today's video will include the protein French toast recipe inspired by Greg Doucette. You know, today's one of those days where I'm gonna say, comment down below, hashtag good day, because come on, it's a great day. All right, for this recipe, you're gonna need three packets of Splenda, oats, protein powder, almond milk, cold brew coffee, honey, and one cup of ice. Along with that, you're gonna need a blender to blend everything up. Yeah, you running off, my hands are tied. You coming back, my hands are tied now. We're making love, my hands are tied. I'm waiting on you, trying to play, but my hands are tied now. You running off, my hands are tied. You coming back. All right, the shake is officially done. I call this the dub shake. So if you're gonna use it, make sure you post it on your story and tag me saying hashtag dub shake. <sighs> Damn. There's a bee right around me. So if I scream like a little girl, what the hell? Give yourself some sweets in the morning, kind of kick the cravings for a little while. Start your morning off nice and right with some caffeine because we know caffeine is probably the greatest thing in the world. And it's also extremely filling because it's huge. So to make this, you need one cup of ice, one cup of coffee, half a cup of almond milk, a quarter cup of oats, one serving of PB2. I choose the chocolate peanut butter just because I love chocolate. You need three stevia, one scoop of protein powder, and one serving of honey, which is the game changer. You can throw a banana in there if you really like. Now the reason you guys have never had anything this good is because you didn't put coffee in your shake. It is the greatest thing I've ever done in my entire life. So I just plugged it in and it's coming out to under 300 calories. So essentially you could have one and a half of these be extremely full and it'd be low calorie and high protein. Now trust me if you're gonna take one thing from this video try this out. Also try everything else out but it's literally the perfect morning coffee and protein all in one. My hands are tied. You coming back. Sadly, it's come to time to part ways. We have one more sip. That, my friends, is what I call a good eats. That is a wrap on the first meal of low calorie and high protein for the day. I know the next one is gonna be your favorite as it is the protein French toast. I'm super excited to share with how I make it a little bit better. So I'll catch you guys for meal number two. Oh. So for the Magic Protein French Toast, we're gonna need the most important thing, which are Calandra Rolls. They're only 100 calories and they're phenomenal. Then we need four packets of stevia, vanilla, cinnamon, protein powder, almond milk, egg whites, and some non-stick butter spray. All of those are super easy to find and they're also extremely necessary for this recipe. Now you could do ordinary white bread, but the calandra rolls, the way I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna cut them into mini pieces of French toast and I think it's just way more filling, way more satisfying to have multiple bites rather than just three pieces of white bread. So that's how we add a little flavor in there. You know what I'm saying? No. I don't know what you're saying. And really quick, before I give you this full recipe, because I'm giving it to you for free, if you could just go down and hit that subscribe button and hit that like button, that would mean the absolute world to me. Welcome back to Jesse's Kitchen. Today we're gonna be teaching you how to make some protein French toast. We got all the necessary ingredients here. It's gonna be easy, it's gonna be tasty, it's gonna treat you better than anyone else ever could. We got the cutting board, and now this is where the magic happens, okay? Now you're probably wondering, this does not look like French toast whatsoever, and that's where Jesse's creativity comes in to play. So step one of making the protein French toast is to cut this into little mini pieces of bread. Genius, right? So I'm gonna cut all of these into small little sections just like this. You want them to be about a centimeter thick. Then we'll dip them into the egg whites and get everything cooking. Let's do it, baby. 
if you guys can't find calendula rolls, I'm sure that you can find something in your local grocery store, whether that's by the bakery section or just by the breads in general. Just find something that's the lowest calorie and that you can kind of cut up into these little pieces to have mini protein French toast pieces. In my opinion, it makes it way more enjoyable to eat. We're gonna grab our weigher. If you don't have a weigher, you can use a cup measure and we're gonna do 180 grams of liquid egg whites. These are yellow. In my opinion, I like them a little bit better. I feel like they taste different, so we're gonna do that. Now let's not forget, half a scoop of your chocolate protein. If you have like peanut butter flavored protein, it'd be really good. Put it with the eggs. It adds taste, protein, and a little bit of consistency as well. Next step, take your low calorie almond milk. The key is to make sure it's 30 calories. It's super low, super low in sugar and everything. And we're gonna do half a cup of that, which is 120 grams. Once you have that, you're gonna take the strongest thing in the room besides myself. I just do a cap full of vanilla. You don't want too much. Grab a fork, mix it all together, and then we'll get it ready for the bread. Bowie, do you like protein French toast? Bowie likes protein French toast. <laughs> The next part, in my opinion, is so crucial. Four packets of stevia. Then just toss in a little bit of cinnamon. And this is going to be your cinnamon sugar that you're going to sprinkle all over everything. Now don't forget to clean up or your mother will yell at you. Right, Mom? Yeah. This is where all the satisfaction takes place. We're now going to dip our French toast into the egg protein mix. And we'll be getting cooking. <laughs> take the cinnamon sugar and sprinkle it on the top of it and being very diligent it'll come out amazing now this doesn't have to be perfect just kind of cover it a little bit and it will taste amazing personally I like to flip it over and let that kind of bake in oh buddy man down now if you think this looks good I want you to go click the eye in the corner after this video and check out the rocks cheat day video I did where I had about a stack mm, the size of my head Now if you partake in elite French toast, you're gonna do this next step perfectly. Sugar-free syrup, and then you're gonna put it in the bowl with the extra cinnamon and sugar. Then you're gonna microwave it. 25 seconds, place it right in the center. Boom. French toast is all cooked up. I'm gonna give you guys a little taste test. First one of the day. I'm super excited to have it. What the? Huh. 10 out of 10, way to go jackass. Take two, John stole my food. Hell yeah, but it actually does taste really good. I highly recommend you try it out. I'll put the recipe right here on the screen. Nothing beats it. Now, I need you guys to realize something. This is super important and super serious. If you have this, you will become an addict of protein French toast for the rest of your life. So just be aware of what you're getting yourself into. I have it about once, sometimes twice a day. Are you concerned for my protein French toast addiction? I am. So we're officially two meals deep and I'm thinking to myself how I can spice this up. Now, I am Puerto Rican, so I do know best. We need some Mexican food. So if you like Chipotle, stay tuned. All right, we're running late, so I'm gonna have to kind of get there a little bit quicker. Hopefully no one takes my order. When you're feeling rushed and you need to calm down, all you need to do, turn on some T-Swift and you forget all the pain. Job secured, baby. Let's do this. If you guys have Cordoba or Moe's, you can have your opinions. I think Chipotle is the best. Two things. One, have the bowl. Two, Chipotle hot sauce. Nothing else works. Don't even bother trying. You're gonna drizzle it all in there, okay? Yo, babe, can you pass me the fork? Oh, wait. I'm extremely single. So to order a bowl that's under 500 calories, you have to get double meat, steak. You're gonna get no rice. Then you're gonna get mild salsa, tomatoes, lettuce, and then peppers and onions. That way, it is only 485 calories. You get the extreme taste of Chipotle. It fills you up, high fiber, high protein. There's nothing like having Chipotle on a hot summer day. Mmm, let's go. I mean, just look at that, right? It's good. All right, we're halfway through the bowl. I'm gonna give it an official rating. I'm gonna give it a nine, but a tortilla would make it a 10. My mouth's on fire. If you guys are interested in me doing 
a full fast food edition of this top five low calorie meals at fast food restaurants, comment below hashtag fast food and I'll make that video happen. This bowl reminds me of the girls that tell you that they want to focus on themselves and their career. You always go back to them, but then they never reciprocate that interest. But Chipotle is different. It reciprocates that love. If you guys are enjoying this video and finding it helpful, hit that subscribe button. We got some training to do, so let's get home, get chained, look good, feel good, play good. I'll see you guys at the gym. So we're going to smash this workout. I'm going to change it up a little bit and we're going to do a commentary. So enjoy my voice because it's all you're going to hear. <laughs> Welcome to ASMR with Jesse James West. <laughs> Today, we're actually gonna go over this workout. It's a push day. We did chest, triceps, and shoulders. So I'm gonna put all the reps on the screen, the exercises on the screen, give it a shot, and let me know what you think. If we can make a deal, that since I'm giving you a free workout, if you guys could just hit that subscribe button and hit that like button, I think that'd be fair. I really appreciate all of your support, guys. I wanna say that. As I'm filming this today, we're about to hit 28K, which is mind blowing. We're just gonna keep going, keep pushing, and I just wanna say thank you. This workout, I really tried to go heavy on my main compound movements and then lighten it up and do a lighter volume sets afterwards. That's kind of the way I do things. It's kind of reverse pyramid training where you start off really heavy and then you, and then each set you kind of go lighter and lighter and higher the reps. I like this training simply because you can benefit both strength wise and hypertrophy wise, which is just building muscle and training in that rep range of eight to 10. It's just what works for me. You could try it, it's up to you. I start my workouts out with some heavy bench press and then we move on to some accessories. And besides just talking about the workout, I just want to kind of go over a few things. A lot of you guys have been asking me how I'm staying motivated, how I'm pumping out this content, what's driving the momentum of my hard work right now. And it's first of all, it's you guys. You guys keep me motivated more than anything else. I'm serious. But not only that, it's the fact that I can put my head down right now and just work and being stuck at home more often kind of just makes you have to get creative and think outside the box. And I think that really helps kind of just take things to the next level because, because those who adapt are those who survive. If you can adapt to what's going on in your situations and your surroundings around you right now, I really do think that you're going to go farther than someone that's not going to adapt and just let their surroundings take over. So just keep that in mind when it comes to all things in life, whether it's training, your nutrition, schoolwork, your job, relationship, literally anything. If you can adapt, you can survive. So that's kind of like the main theme of this little like commentary right now. It's just, I want you all to know that you can do way more than you actually think you can. There are so many opportunities out there for you to make a difference in this world and make an impact. And I want to just inspire all of you. And I want to be living proof that it's true and that with hard work, dedication, and literal hours of, of trying to do something, that something big can come. Like seriously, believe me when I say that. You have to manifest everything that you want to do. You have to write it down. You got to speak it out into the existence and you got to make it happen. As you see, I'm doing some accessories right now. This is where I kind of change the rep ranges into a higher rep range where it's more like eight, sometimes 10 or 12. And I just kind of really feel the muscles burn. It's just a better way of training in my opinion. Start off heavy and then go light. If you haven't heard that before, then you know, maybe you're not subscribed. You gotta hit that subscribe button. Does it sound like ASMR right now? I really hope it does, even though it's kind of creepy. But yeah, I just kind of want to talk you guys through my workout a little bit. Take you through it. Training's been super awesome lately, and I'm excited just to keep training really hard, pushing myself. We're probably gonna be pushing some more calories into my diet soon, just to kind of fill up a little bit more and maintain my lean body mass and not so much get any leaner. I'm I'm very happy and content with how lean I am right now. Just kind of a little update on what's going on. There are some very big things happening in the future. I just want to put that out there. We got uh we got a nice summer ahead of us. That's that's all I could tell you right now. Just stay tuned if you wanna if you wanna find out what it all is. But but if you like this commentary style, definitely let me know in the comments below because I'm very curious on what you think. I like doing this. I can kind of just talk to you guys, update you, talk about the training, and really just be down to earth when you guys can watch me train. And I know you guys enjoy these videos. I hope you do at least. <laughs> but I hope you guys are all reaching your goals, at least chasing them and pushing past all the hardship right now. Let's stay together and stay strong and stay positive. I love all of you. Just keep spreading love. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the video. Hit the like button. Please subscribe. I'll make more ASMR videos like this. For the next meal, we're gonna be cooking up some zucchini pasta, turkey meatballs, with some low calorie tomato marinara sauce. This is practically the knockoff version of the situation from the Jersey Shore, but it's low calorie and high protein, so we can't complain. So for the first step, you're gonna need a big bowl, one of these zucchini pasta shredder things. It's like thick and thin, you twist it. One enormous zucchini. Please, no comments below. I don't wanna hear it. And all you're gonna do is you're just gonna go like this and you're gonna spin it and it will create little zucchini pasta things. So I just shredded up about 300 grams of zucchini. We're gonna do six turkey meatballs and it'll be really nice because it'll be like spaghetti and pasta. So while this is cooking, I'm gonna toss on a few seasonings. I'm gonna put a little bit of Italian seasoning. It's an Italian dish. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in there and then I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic powder and go to Flavor Town, as, uh, as Guy Fieri would say. Toss them in and you pour accordingly. Yeah. 
is done. Just put it into a bowl and get ready to feast. Oh yeah. I got an Italian roll on the side because this is an Italian dish. I'll keep saying it. All right, we got half a meatball and a bunch of stuff. The mushroom and onion are key. This is what my Friday night looks like. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Awesome. Voila. I'll catch you guys for the next meal. Let's just say it's going to be sweet. two chocolate rice cakes, two butter popcorn rice cakes, one scoop of protein mixed with a little bit of water. That way it's kind of a pudding texture. That's the key. A little bit of sugar-free syrup, some halo top because low calorie and high in protein. And of course some rainbow sprinkles to make it a little bit jazzier. Now you're probably thinking, Jesse, what concoction are you putting together right now? Just give me a second. Step one, lay everything out. Step two, microwave the pudding protein. Only like 30 seconds. Once the protein is cooked, it's gonna be kind of cooked on the outside, a little bit pudding-like in the middle, and that's perfect. It's basically fudge. We are going to diligently place some ice cream on top of these rice cakes. And when I say diligently, I mean diligently. Now the key is to lay the ice cream down nice and gently. Next, we will scoop the beautiful protein pudding and just drizzle it on there. Whatever's left over, you just eat. Toss on just a little bit of that. Now we add my little addiction. Just a little. You cannot tell me that does not look good. This comes out to a surprising 430 calories. And there is a ton of protein in this because Halo Top is protein as well. So your son is the next uh, Chef Boyardee. Taste test number one. I'm gonna take the pain for my sensitive teeth. Wow. 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 This is really gonna replace late night snack that's not gonna let you to reach your protein goal for the day. An Oreo is 70 calories, and if this is only 100, think about that. You're so Takes the lead, number one. So out of my top five meals, which one was your favorite? The last one with ice cream. And just like that, we're gonna wrap up today's video. That is my top five low calorie, high protein meals that you guys need to be trying out. I got a whole lot more. If you're not already, please hit that subscribe button. I truly appreciate it. Hit the like button if you're feeling generous. It turns out that only 35% of people that watch my videos are subscribed. So let's change that number. I appreciate you guys. Comment down below, hashtag dub squad if you made it this far. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. He's a commando.